It is possible to unwrap an object and paint it in two dimensions inside of ZBrush using these quick, simple steps. First, make sure that your object already has UV data. If not, you could always use UV Master to unwrap it. Once it does have some form of UV data, then you want to duplicate your object. This will allow you to go back into the UV Master plugin and flatten the UVs. Currently I'm working with the solo mode on so that I'm only seeing this single version of the object at one time. Now that I have it flattened, I can actually start poly painting on it right away if I would like. So here I am painting in some information or if I fill it first color fill with red for example. I can start painting on whatever texture I would like. But as you can see, because it's a very simple object, the amount of detail in that poly painting is very low. We can actually change this without affecting the UVs at all by going to the divide button under geometry, turning off smooth, and then dividing it up a couple of times. Once this is done, we can now paint our object and we will have a much higher level of detail without losing any of that UV data. And once we're satisfied with our poly painting, all we have to do is go down to Texture Map, New from Poly Paint, and clone our texture. Once it's cloned, we can return to our original object and turn on the texture from the Quick Pick menu. Here it is. And that is just a quick way of transferring your texture map over. And you can see this is one way of keeping your low poly mesh, not dividing it up, but still having a highly detailed texture map. You could do the same thing with a secondary object and keep it in 3D, continue painting, and then do the same second set of steps to copy that texture map to your low poly model without losing any of your UVs, any of your volume of your low poly model and anything along those lines. Now if you want to take this and with your original model keep continue working on your poly painting, you might then decide to divide it up this way without smoothing on. And then under poly paint, poly paint from texture. So near, now I can continue painting in 3D on my original object and again, I still have the low poly version that I can bake my textures to that has the same point position and everything. All right. Thank you for viewing today. Have, you have a wonderful day.